Sagittarius, hello, beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia, welcome, welcome back. This is Empath Tarot, where spirits' messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, in this reading, we will be pulling some messages that will help uncover any abundance blocks you might be experiencing at this time, money or love related. If there is a certain amount of money you would like to manifest into your beautiful life or that special somebody, go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe. If you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and spirit, all of the details will be down in the description box below. Along with my husband, if you haven't yet, check him out. He is over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading because we will be pulling a final message from the universe. Now, speaking of universe, universe is in full connection with you here, Sagittarius, at this time and space. Whatever is coming in, whatever is showing up for you, that's a clue. And it's really being encouraged right now to start a journal collecting the puzzle pieces, collecting the clues. You don't have to know. You don't have to explain to yourself. You don't have to write any big sob story about your life in your journal. You don't have to do any of that. As a matter of fact, we would discourage you from doing that because when you write about stuff that has happened that you don't like, you're just basically Oh, reopening up that, that case. You know what I mean? You just want to let that energy go. Whatever's happened, happened. What you do want to focus on though, is the excitement, the joy, the satisfaction, the magic, the curiosity, the intrigue, right? All the little points of your life that kind of feel like a, oh, oh, I feel something, right? Yeah. You want to write those down. That, those are the clues. Those are the puzzle pieces that are guiding you forward. And we forget them. We forget the little things that matter the most. Like, you know what I mean? Like I know for me, the most, one of the most satisfying things for me is if I wake up and go outside for a walk before I have my morning espresso, it's like so satisfying to get outside in the fresh air, walk, work your body and then have the caffeine. But I never do it. Why? Cause I stopped writing it down. So now I just have my caffeine first and it's fine because I know it's there. But the thing is, is like when we write it down, we maintain that practice, you know? So that's why it's so important to write things down. Your affirmation is my life is a courageous, creative adventure. Courageous creative adventure, meaning that right now you're, we feel like you're feeling this immense power and this immense knowing of something that you really, really want to do, right? But that Knight of Swords in reverse brings the message of unfocused energy. And so we feel like you have all these ideas coming in. Universe is in full, again, a connection with you, but you're missing the bigger picture merely just because of not enough awareness being centered around the things that are coming in, almost as if it's not a big thing. We encourage you to sit with yourself. Again, sit with yourself and just write down the puzzle pieces and start to collect them daily. Start to collect the puzzle pieces, right? Different ideas that come in, just write them down, just write them down, just write them down. Because you're being guided straight into a honey pot of joy with that nine of cups and that knight of cups. Love, uh, passion, um, adventure. Again, adventure came up again, right? So excitement, most certainly. Um, and just wishes fulfilled with that nine of cups. And again, whatever you think it is, it's not, it's going to be something so much better, <laughs> so much better because whatever we think, well, there's where we just lost is because we're thinking, right? Whenever we think we lower our frequency and the thinking mind is directly connected to your very minimal experiences here. You've lived so far on planet earth. How, however, if you're under a hundred minimal, okay, your soul is like wisdom is of years and years and years and years, thousands of years incarnating uh, to planet earth. So wisdom of the soul or limited thinking mind, Hmm, which I wonder which one, right? We're going to choose, right? So that's why we say, follow the feeling of satisfaction because it is leading you and the feeling of joy because it's leading you to learning a new skill or some type of new career, some promotion of some kind with that three of pentacles. The seven of cups in reverse is here to remind you that you are never missing out on opportunities. And no matter what shows up is going to be the best thing for you in this time and space so that it conditions and trains you to get you to where you want to go. Sometimes we're like, we really say, for instance, you know, we really want to reach this status or, you know, get this promotion, but maybe energetically, because our spirit guides are going to make sure that we're set up for success. Maybe energetically they know we wouldn't be ready for that. Maybe it's not the right timing. Maybe we wouldn't be able to handle the workload. Maybe it's just not something that we're going to be comfortable with. And then we end up like not feeling, you know, comfortable and we end up quitting or whatever it is. Right. Um, so what will happen then is the universe will then set you up with this, with you re redirected into learning a new skill or learning this particular, um, you know, taking this course or whatever it is, right. Doing this new thing. 
And we're thinking like, well, that's, that's kind of sucks. I thought it was going to be, you know, this other big promotion and, but nothing ever sucks because you're always being guided and, and, uh, trained for the thing that you want most. And you know what I mean? It's like, again, it's right. It's like, it's like, it's always about understanding that nothing is ever wrong. It's always where you're supposed to be. And sometimes it's overcoming obstacles is understanding it's not the right time. It, it's, it's not the right time right now, or maybe just, uh, you know, just, just realizing that things will come to, things will come to fruition when they're meant to come to fruition. And if they don't come to fruition in the time that you think that they should come to fruition, it's because the universe is aligning you with a bigger outcome. And so that's why we just want you to have faith in the process and don't feel like you have to be the one to overwork or, um, you know, manipulate or force. It's really just about letting the momentum of the what now of the what is bring you forward. And that means being in the presence, not necessarily what is of what's going on in your physical world, more like the, what is going on in your soul energy. That makes sense. Cause we have energy that flows through us, right? And the energy that flows through us is the energy that we want to connect with because the energy that's flowing through you is the energy that's always guiding you forward and progressing you in your life. Right? So look to the stars, you know, always reach for the highest possible outcome, but it's not something that you have to do solo. This is something that you do by again being connected to your soul, to God, to source, right? So moving forward does not necessarily require you to have confidence in yourself. Confidence in God or source creator is enough along with knowing that God works through you and with you in all ways lean upon us if your confidence wavers, right? So that magic, that energy that flows through you, that's God flowing through you. And you can always feel God in the moments of satisfaction. That's the thing. It's always about satisfaction, satisfaction, joy. And sometimes we can't feel joy and bliss from where we are, but we encourage you to go and check out um, the emotional scale by Abraham Hicks, because it lets you know that even though if you go from say depressed to like, um, to revenge, well, revenge feels better than depressed, right? So you feel a little bit better, right? So just go off of feeling better. You just want to feel a little bit better, a little bit better, a little bit better, and just follow the waves and follow the tides and follow the flow of energy that's, that's, uh, flowing you forward. Um, because it is, it is training you and allowing you to become the best version of yourself. And again, having confidence, doesn't mean having confidence in yourself. You can just trust in what you're being called to see in that exact moment is all right. So ace of cups, queen of cups coming out reverse. But all that means is that whenever you are feeling uninspired, it's because, um, not enough creative, um, your creative, uh, authentic twist has been put on it. That's all right. That's all. That's all. That's all. So when you're in a new situation and when you are experiencing new and something feels unnerving for you, you feel fear. That's the, your inner child saying to you, Hey, we could do this differently and it could be more fun. It could be more aligned with both of us and your present self, right? Your, your consciousness might take that fear and dwell on it something doesn't feel right. I, I'm nervous. It's a new situation. What if I'm not good at it? But if you open up the conversation to have it with your seven year old self, let's say, right. And you say, Hey, what's going on? What do you feel you, we could do differently or how would you do things differently? You open up your child self, which is the fear within you, the child self to, uh, to, to help you receive a different outcome. Right. And just, just looking in, into that fear, opens things up. And then you're able to put your, again, creative twist on things. Cause if it's not you creating it intentionally by what you want, then there's going to be fear. It's just inevitable. Right. And so that's why we say sometimes journal, collect the puzzle pieces, collect the clues. Um, because what that will do is that will help you to, um, collect data. And then when you speak to your fear, as if it's your child self, what happens is it allows you to release that fear because you're not hiding from it. You're not trying to escape from it. Right? So just open up that conversation. 
it will be incredible. Universe message for you today is your treasure is at hand. The universe says, sure, you can always find prettier, handsomer, skinnier, wiser, richer, younger, zippier, but more often than not, one learns the most, laughs the loudest and smiles the widest with those they've already found, especially when they stop looking elsewhere. Actually, zippier is on quite a few lists. Tally ho, the universe. We love you so much, Sagittarius. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there were messages in here for you. And if there was, like and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.